Leah Ramini submitted proof to the court that she served David Miscavige with the alleged stalking and harassment lawsuit. In the documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the actress revealed she hired a determined process server who desperately tried to hunt down the Church of Scientology's leader before finally dropping the legal papers at a security guard's feet. The documents filed on Wednesday gave a play-by-play -play of the process server's attempt to track down Miscavige, revealing he went to at least five Scientology locations in Los Angeles looking for the elusive church leader. He also provided photos and descriptions of each time he was turned away. RadarOnline.com can reveal that the process server's journey began on September 13 and didn't end until September 22. His first stop was the Scientology Media Productions on Sunset Boulevard, where a security officer prohibited him from entering the big metal gate when he revealed he was looking to serve Miscavige with legal papers. The server then went to Scientology's Celebrity Center in Hollywood, where a private security guard named Chuck told him that Miscavige was not there and he had no idea how to find him. He tried three other locations on September 13, including the Author Services Religious Technology Center on Hollywood Boulevard and two places on L. Ron Hubbard Way, where he was told, you are not welcome, and was asked to leave. After a long day, the process server gave himself the day off and picked back up on September 15. He returned to five locations that day but was turned away from every single one. On September 22, the process server seemed to decide that he wasn't playing around any longer. At 12.25 p.m., the determined server approached the Celebrity Center and was met by security guard Chuck again. I approached the side entrance on Tamarind Avenue and was met by plainclothes security guard, it was Chuck again, the legal documents read. He said what can I do for you? I explained that I was a process server there to serve David Miscavige and I asked, are you in charge of the property? He said I am hired private security and I can tell you that he is not here. I asked if there was a manager that I could talk to? He said they're not going to come out. I asked, can I go in? He said oh god, no, and repositioned himself more between me and the entrance. I explained I am not trespassing while serving legal process, he said they do not want you on the property, I understand, I know your job. I announced that I was substitute serving him on behalf of David Miscavige, with summons and complaints for two lawsuits, he explained. He backed up and would not take the documents, so I dropped them at his feet. The process server pulled the same stunt at Scientology Media Productions later that day. I knocked on the metal gate a few times. The same security guard from my first attempt came out of the guardhouse. White male, 38 years, 5 feet 6 inches, 150 pounds. I told him I was a process server here to serve David Miscavige, is he here? He replied, he is not here, now please get off my driveway. I asked if he was in charge of the property, he said no. I asked if there was a manager here, he said no. I said so you are the only one here in charge? He said please leave our property. I explained that I was not trespassing. I announced that I was substitute serving him on behalf of David Miscavige with two lawsuits. He stepped back quickly as I extended my arm through the gate and dropped the papers inside the gate at his feet, the dock state. As RadarOnline.com reported, Ramini sued Scientology and Miscavige for alleged stalking, harassment, and defamation in August, claiming they have undertaken a campaign to ruin and destroy her life and livelihood after she was deemed a suppressive person and declared fair game by Scientology in 2013, when she publicly departed Scientology, a suppressive act as laid out by Scientology directives. Visit the all-new Radar Sports for all the on- and off-field activities of the biggest names in the games. The King of Queens actress recently filed for a preliminary injunction, asking that the defendants in the lawsuit be prohibited from harassing or attacking her and her family members after church agents allegedly showed up at her mom's home.